Welcome to Scott Cooks, everybody, and this is how to cook an acorn squash in the new Ninja Foodi with Smart Lid. To begin, you need to cut this acorn squash in half. Large flat knife. Get it on a surface that's fairly stable. And do the best you can to cut straight through it. Okay. Take a spoon, scoop these seeds in the center out. You can save the seeds for roasting if you want later. Uh, we're not going to roast these, but you can. Put a little sea salt on them, roast them right up. So I just use the edge of my spoon, kind of cut through the pulp, like so. And scoop most of them out. We will be using the steam and crisp method tonight. And something a little different, where we'll be using our basket instead of the rack. Put one cup of water in the foodie. Put in your basket. Take your acorn squash, flip them over. Lay them down in the basket. If they don't fit properly, it's okay. You can just sort of angle them up on the edges like that. Lid down, power on, position your slider to the center position, steam and crisp, 390 is good, and we want 15 minutes. We're going to do the first five minutes as is, and then we're going to flip them for the final 10 minutes. Takes anywhere from five to eight minutes for the preheat, depending on how much liquid was in there. I didn't put much in, so it should happen pretty quickly. And we'll see you back at the five minute mark. All right, that's five minutes under the steam. Let's check it out. We'll roll one over and see how we're doing. And uh, if we can, we'll flip them. If not, we might leave them a little longer. Sometimes when you're cooking in the foodies, uh, different weights, densities, things like that. You have to just be able to uh, change things up on the fly. Yeah, we're looking pretty good there, you know? So I think we'll, uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll them both over. and continue to cook. And yeah, they're definitely getting a little soft inside. Look at that little piece just broke off. So that's a good sign. Back down we go. Now let me make sure you can see that. Not very well. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. All right, we're gonna go five more minutes and we're gonna stop and we're gonna put a little flavor inside of them after five minutes. All right, that was five more minutes. And there, there is five minutes remaining on the timer, but that can always be adjusted. So for this step, got a little bit of margarine here. I'm just gonna put some in the center. A little too much on that one, let's move it over. Let me take some of that out, it was a little too much. Just let that melt into a little pool of butter. There we go, and that'll get soaked in to the dish. And you can go savory or sweet at this step. We like ours a little sweet, so I'm gonna take some dark brown sugar now and sprinkle a little in the center. 
let it melt in that butter and just try to get a little bit up on the edges if I can. And then we're going to finish the last five minutes up. And remember while the air crisp is going we are also steaming at the same time creating a whole different type of cooking environment. All right, it's just shut down. Make sure you open your lid slowly when you're steaming. Quite a bit of moisture likes to run down into that little pot. And anyway, there they are. They look good. I'd say they're cooked because they're squishy when I'm trying to grab them with the tongs. Yeah, see how they're kind of folding on me? So let's figure out how to get one out. There we go. And that's how you cook an acorn squash in the Ninja Foodi one pot using steam and crisp. Oh, that is very tender. Look at that. Dip that down in there. Let's give it a second to cool and we will take ourselves a bite. Let's try that out, guys. Looks amazing. It is amazing. Fantastic. 15 minutes. You know how difficult this is to do in the oven and other methods. Ninja Foodi, 8 quart, smart lid, steam and crisp, acorn squash, 15 minutes and done. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. And we'll see you soon.